Now we're going to talk about how to conduct an experiment and how to get the results in the easiest, uh, quickest way possible. So I'm going to open Prod and then I'm going to open the experiment, open read from file and then example text or an easy way you just take the example text and slide it drag it on the prod icon and you've got directly what you want and then so I said again open read or you just drag it and then run this is an experiment blah 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 I'm going to go through it quickly when we're done we just go extract results. I'm going to suppress delete that. Um, so extract results, you get this one, and then you save it as text file. Results, and um, you keep the same extension. And here you give the name of your uh, listener, the ID, the initials, or I don't know what you've chosen, or which convention so I'm gonna go 0102 I have um, a subfolder called results and I am going to save everything in it so save and you've got the results here so if you open it with open it with um, notepad for example you're gonna see what happens what you find here so stimulus one you've got the file um, that was presented, the response that the listener gave, the goodness, and then reaction time. Then um, there is an, another listener waiting, so you're going to remove this and then go again, run, blah 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 blah, again, um, extract results, save. As text file. This time go zero two, and then remove, click, run, extract. So in order to extract results, you see that you have to go click, and then click, click, and then give it a name. Um, so that takes some time. So you can shave off a few seconds um, as far as saving results is concerned. Um, the other problem is that imagine that um, you just finished with listener number three and um, they say there's a problem, maybe I want to uh, redo the test or whatever. Uh, so you want to verify their results. Open it with notepad, it's really not that readable readable so it's not the best way to do it because so okay if you have 120 um, stimuli that's not very easy to read so what you can do is then open read from file open this one and then collect to table and then view edit and you've got the results here that takes a lot of time too and we're not even done yet so let's imagine uh, you've got uh, I'm gonna go again and again and again um, run we're done extract save I'm gonna do five of them run okay Extract, save. So you've got the five of them. And the other problem is that now that you've got the results, you want to um, convert them into something readable um, with the option that we just saw, collect a table. But the problem is that you have to open them up one by one. Open read from file to 
three and imagine that you want to do that um, when you're done with five listeners just to see whether your test whether there's a problem and then five listeners later you want to do it again and if you have 20 listeners imagine doing that every single time and do that 20 times like that and then you have to select everything and then collect to table and save as tab separated file so that you can open it up with you can name it whatever you want but name it the file format should be text if you want to use it with Excel or other software it's gonna be easier so I'm gonna save it in results why not and this you can open with any software you can see subject one and then two so it's going to and so on so what it really does actually it takes all that it takes each one collect 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 and then it combines the results into one but it does it for you um, so that takes a lot of time so let's see whether we can shave some seconds off okay let's go from the beginning I'm going to drag and I've got the experiment opened um, I have created a subfolder called scripts and have created four scripts Pratt scripts which are no experiments it's programming so what I did here let's see uh, first of all uh, I don't need the new test so sorry th I've got start and uh, this is what you're going to run execute so start prod what it does is it's going to create a button like this one run extract is going to create a button here that is going to be called save you can name it whatever you want and it is only going to be visible when an experiment object is opened which is the case here and it's going to execute um, when you click on that button that is called save it is going to execute this script script is of course here I I put it in the same folder so it's C blah blah desktop prat scripts and it's called save prat and then again another button called collect um, it is um, to be found when an object experiment object is um, clicked selected and then it's going to execute collect that prat and um, you've got here and after it does that it's going to open the experiment so in that case let's close everything down instead of opening with example you're going to open with start you're going to run it and we're done so it already um, opened the experiment and it installed the two buttons here created save and collect save collect so what we're gonna do here imagine that you've got people waiting for the test this is the experiment I say okay run I do the test I'm done instead of doing extract results I just do save you will ask me the ID of the listener the number of the initials or whatever you want to use it Going zero one okay so we can see that in the results it um it saved already instead of doing extract and then save save as text file blah 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 it did it um, for us what it did is zero one and then 
it added a prefix example underscore you can we can see that you can I uh, change it if you want or delete it this part so and then it closed the result file object it closed the experiment and opened it up again and then again run blah 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 save zero two okay there you go run okay save zero three run we're done the listener is leaving so save zero four done run okay save zero five okay I'm done so when I'm done whenever I want whether I've I've finished with two or four or twenty listeners if I want to see the results all I need is I've got the experiment um, selected I say collect and 